Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel, I'm Alexa. In this video I want to talk about how to transplant small petunias so that the plants become well developed. I grew petunias from seeds this season, you can watch a video about it on my channel. After the appearance of 2-4 true leaves, I transplanted petunia seedlings into 1 cup pots. This is approximately 200 milliliters. Make sure your seedlings are about 2 to 3 inches tall before transplanting. Do I need to thin out and transplant petunia seedlings? Thinning and transplanting are most successful when the petunia plants are small and have recently developed strong true leaves. Then the plants will have a chance to become large and healthy, to develop normally. Without a transplant, plants stop growing. About a month after the first repotting of the petunias, it is time to repot the petunias in large pots to increase the size of the plants and grow the leaves. I want to show you this process. How to transplant small petunias. Carefully remove the petunia from the pot and place its root ball into the depression in the soil, spreading the roots. Hold the plant in place by adding soil around the roots until they are completely covered. For transplanting petunias, I used peat, garden soil, complex fertilizers, agroberlite to loosen the soil and sphagnum moss to retain moisture in the soil. How big should the seedlings be before the next transplant? It should already be a small bush that has 6 to 8 true leaves and that can grow in size, but it does not have enough soil for this. I have several varieties of petunias, I will transplant them into pots of different sizes. For larger plants I will use about 1.5 gallon or 5 liter pots for now. For smaller plants I will use 0.5 gallon or 2 liter pots. I will plant one plant in each pot. Do petunias like crowds? I'm sure these plants don't like being around other petunias because they have a powerful root system. And if you decide to grow several plants in one pot, you will have to repot them often, or the flowering will be short-lived. How to grow petunias in containers and pots? The distance between petunias in the ground ranges from 12 to 24 inches, but for a full container you need to place them closer together. As a general rule, do not plant more than 3 petunias in one 12-inch pot to avoid crowding. Do petunias need a lot of room for roots? Yes, it is very important. If there is not enough soil, the petunia stops flowering and turns into a lignified plant. As long as there is enough room in the pot for the roots to spread, the plant will thrive. As a general rule, try to plant no more than 3 petunias in a 12-inch pot. Can petunias be repotted? Of course you can. After this transplant, about a month later, as soon as the petunia occupies the entire volume of the pot, I will transplant the plant again. So the petunia will receive new nutrition and a new home. When transplanting more than one petunia plant, plant spacing should be 12 inches. If you are transplanting an Ampelus variety, space the plants 24 inches apart. What soil acidity is needed for petunias? Petunias like fertile soil with good drainage and neutral to slightly acidic, pH 5.8 to 6. Light sandy soil is ideal. Loosen the soil by digging it 6 or 8 inches. Mix with a little organic matter, and then level and level it. Dig a hole for each container-sized petunia seedling. Can seedlings be transplanted into large pots? If the plants are well developed and surround the soil ball, it's time to repot. Moving seedlings into larger containers will help ensure a healthy root system and high-quality flowers for your garden. 
the new container should be about twice the size of the old ones. I hope this video was helpful for you. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel to watch the next video on how to prune petunias for beautiful and long flowering. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. See you soon.